Well, that's a wee uh, potted view of Comba. Probably one of, if not the most unionist British town on the island of Ireland. As you see there, our uh, loyalist uh, thing up the lamppost in the Union flag, showing your support for the Union, support for the Great Britain uh, and Northern Ireland. And our war memorial, where uh, many hundreds of people from this town died during the two, two wars. But there's also a smaller one there for the men from this town who were murdered by IRA Sinn Féin in the recent troubles. Now, why I'm speaking today is because I'm absolutely appalled and outraged. This is 99% unionist town, yet today, people have been coming on to me absolutely furious because of this. This is a poster, an election poster for European elections from the Alliance Party, and the face on it is Anna Lowe, um, who, again, she's obviously no brought up here with a name like that, but this woman has recently stated she believes in a, in a united Ireland. Uh, this woman has condemned Protestants who've been ar arrested and, and unionists who've been arrested on protests. She says, basically, paraphrasing, of course, that we're all thugs and scum. But her own son was arrested at a demo, but he's a political activist, where the rest of us are just low-life thugs and hooligans. So this is, this, this is who this woman is. The party, the Alliance Party, are supposed to be are what they try and portray themselves as the party of the non-sectarian middle classes. But in reality, this party has voted just about every single time along with Sinn Féin IRA against the unionist loyalist people of Northern Ireland. Every vote that comes up, the Alliance Party back up Sinn Féin IRA. They're a rebel party. They're completely anti-unionist, anti-British, real scumbags. Yet they have come into this town a 99% unionist British town and stuck up their election posters. Why? They won't get many votes around here. I'll tell you why they've done it. The arrogance of the Liberals. They think they can do this type of thing. Now, I'm a law-abiding man. I'm also on bail uh, for various things during the flag protest. So I couldn't and I wouldn't take these down because it's against the law. It's interfering with the electoral process and I believe in the electoral process. But I think it's a damn disgrace that the Alliance Party come into this town and stick these posters up, especially with that woman's face on it, who's insulted every British unionist in this country over a number of years. So I'm going to leave it there, but I can tell you the people in this town are absolutely furious and shaming the Alliance Party once again to put the boot in to the unionist, loyalist people of Northern Ireland. It's a disgrace. Thank you.